Hello, Sagittarius. How are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this channel, I hope everyone is staying safe. Hello, how are all my subscribers doing? I love you guys. Thank you so much. Please like and share my content. I really appreciate it. I miss you guys. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates, okay? Let's get started. So let's see where your vibration is at. I hope you're keeping your vibration on high and your energy, Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius spirit guys what is the vibration for Sagittarius okay Sagittarius uh, affirmation affirmation is what helps keep your vibration up Sagittarius it says we all run negative tapes in our head change the tape by telling yourself positive change I mean positive stories okay I am an amazing person I love my life Good luck follows me. I embrace my magnificence. I am a high vibra vibrational being. I create affirming thoughts. I desire love. I am joyful. I am beautiful. I have an abundance of self-worth. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? You can screenshot that. Your affirmation. Yes. That helps to keep your vibration up as well, Sagittarius. Affirmations change your negative tapes in your head. Change the tapes by telling yourself positive thoughts, okay? Positive stories, all right? Let's pull one more vibration, uh, Sagittarius. This one, Spirit, okay? Gratitude, absolutely. Gratitude, Sagittarius is your second um, vibration card. Gratitude, okay? Yeah, it says write a list of 10 things you are grateful for, Sagittarius. Feel the gratitude. Hold that feeling in your body and then start to notice more things to be grateful for. Make it a daily practice. Gratitude attracts more to be grateful for. So not only affirmation in your life, but gratitude as well is what helps keep your vibration up too. Sagittarius. Okay. Someone needed to hear that. All right. So let's see. Spirit guys, this is for Sagittarius. What is in their energy? What's the Sagittarius energy? I'm curious to know your energy, Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius energy? Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. Concorpia. The spirit guys, this is fruitfulness, Sagittarius. My goodness, this is in your energy. A lot of you are being abundantly abundantly blessed. Okay. You have some abundance. Your spirit guides is this is fruitfulness from all areas of your life. Not only money, but it could be your health. Okay. It could be a relationship. You have concorpia that's in your energy. Oh my goodness. You are being abundantly blessed with this man or this woman that's holding the heart. Okay. Yo, my goodness, the divine, the spirit, you see the spirit guys is bringing in abundance in your life. And it does not always mean money. It can mean love, health, wealth, prosperity, but you have a, a man holding the heart, a woman holding the heart. Someone's trying to, trying to fig, find a strategy. Someone really appreciate who you are. They're thinking about you a lot, Sagittarius. You make them happy. I can't make this up. This, pearl, this, mm, this person sees the world with you. They want a new beginning with you. Okay. But they're having some type of um, maybe some dealings with their own self. Okay. Uh, some attachments that they're holding on within themselves. Maybe they're dealing with some type of security or insecurity, or is this you Sagittarius? You have your eye on someone that you really think, or you really think highly of this person. When you see this person, this person makes you happy. Okay. You have all the woman holding the heart as well. So I see <coughs> a divine, I, I here I have a divine counter and a feminine a uh, feminine encounter. How you have said divine and feminine? You have a man and a woman. You have possibly both of you are ready for love. Okay. I feel it just came into my spirit. Okay. Let's not forget about the Concorpio 1111. If it's a house, if it's a car or something that you've been wanting it's the spirit guys, it's about to bring that into fruition. Okay. That's for someone. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Let's get back to this. You have two p people. This could be a soulmate connection. You both are trying to, you both are really, um, 
This is this is what's in the energy. I feel like both of you like each other. Both of you appreciate each other. Both of you think about each other. You make each other happy. You want a new beginning with each other. But I feel like either you, Sagittarius, or them, someone has an attachment. Uh, they may be dealing with some inner... They may be having some inner conflict within themselves. OK, they may be attacked. There may be something going on within themselves, maybe some insecurity, maybe some doubt, maybe some fear, maybe some low self-esteem that they may be dealing with. Or is this you, Sagittarius? I'm just saying reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. I don't know. <coughs> I'm getting old, so excited. Excuse me, y'all. I'm getting over a cold. So let's see what the spirit guys is saying. Thank you, spirit. This is for Sagittarius. What is the message you have for Sagittarius? What are you trying to tell Sagittarius? I'm curious to know myself. Okay. Sagittarius. Woo! Oh, oh, the sun. Oh, let me tell you something. Okay. Whatever you've been thinking, whatever you've been doubting, it, it, this person is y'all are meant to make each other happy. You're going to make each other happy. The sun card, you're going to make each other happy. You are so happy. This person is happy. You, you're both uh, on operating from a very high energetic state. Okay. That's why I said the divine, the feminine energy. Y'all both are on the same frequency, on the same level. Look at here. You have both of them. You have both of you, man, woman, king, queen, however you want to say it. Okay. Look at here. But someone is having doubts. Someone is like, ah, you don't know. You, you're not feeling good. You're not feeling good about yourself. You, you're feeling, somebody's feeling like, I don't know, you know. I don't know if, what if I'm not good enough for her? What if I'm not good enough for him? What if I don't meet up to her, or his expectations? What if he don't like me? What if she don't like me? Let me tell you something. The sun card is out here twice in your reading Sagittarius. Okay. Um, wow. I feel it. So you got to let go of that ego. The Empress is all about control, authority, control. Okay. You got to let go of some of that ego and just go for it. Take a chance. Oh, this is for somebody or some, somebody's. Yeah, you've done a lot of growing. The Ace of Pentacles, the divine. This is divinely guided. This is um, a, a, a large commitment, a large investment. This is going to work. This is divinely guided. You both are in sync with each other. You both think about each other. You both have each other's heart. Y'all supposed to meet, to be together, meet, to meet at the same time. So stop worrying. OK, some of you have had is struggling with low self-esteem. This person is coming in that wants to build with you, want to have something with you. But you got to get out of the way. There it is. There it is. The lovers. I told you it's going to be a very strong, strong connection, very passionate, strong connection between y'all two. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yes. Stop hiding. Stop hiding. Get out of the way. Go ahead and go for it. Don't don't have no insecurity. If you want that man, if you want that woman, woman, if you want that man, go for it. However it go, because you both somebody. Let me tell you something. If you don't go for it, somebody else going to go and going to take it. You're going to miss out because you're definitely thinking about this woman or this man. Look at here. You're thinking about this woman or this man. OK, you both are on the same frequency. And you are divinely guided, the Ace of Pentacles. You both have done so much growth in your life. The, the, the Ace of Pentacles is about a large commitment, a large investment. Okay, this person is, is going to be committed to you. This person is, is in, you know, in control of their life or someone may have an ego. It might be ego could be in their way a little bit, but this is going to be passionate. But for some reason, some of you are like you're sitting around and you're too busy looking back on the nostalgia memories, thinking about 
who done you wrong, what did you wrong, and you're not giving this person a chance, you got to let go of those attachments of who done you wrong and focus on who is in your life or who's getting ready to come in your life that's passionate about you, that's going to treat you right. This is a new beginning. This is someone new. Get out of the past. Let go of the past. Don't think that everybody is like your past person because this is your this is divinely guided. This is divinely guided. Concorpio is nothing but abundance around this whole relationship, this whole abundance, this commitment. I'm positive thoughts and energy. Sagittarius, you better wake up because this is your other half is here in your life. That's going to make you happy. Look at that. You see that? It think, ain't that a beautiful thing? Until next time.